It seems like Adobe just launched the Adobe Firefly AI generator and I just test it out and here you can do some incredible things. For example, you can upload your logo and change up the logo's silhouette automatically generating all kind of silhouettes for your logo with different kind of styles and images. So let's take a look how it works. In order to go to the settings, all you need to do is go to the generate button, click on it, and it's going to jump into the settings. And also make sure to clear all the prompts in here. So this is how the application looks. And by the way, you can search for firefly.adobe.com slash generate, but I got to leave a link in the description and it's going to get you on this page. So we're going to start at the very top, but first we're going to check out the reference structure. So here you can upload your image or you can browse gallery if you want, but I'm going to upload a logo. And first I'm going to choose the Nike logo and then we're going to go up here to the model and you can see the aspect ratio. So right now it's on square. So I'm going to change it to landscape here. You also got the portrait and widescreen. Actually, I'm going to check out with widescreen. Let's see what happens. And here we got the content type. You can go with this photo or you can go with the art. If you choose the photo, we got a couple of options here with the auto, aperture, shutter speed. So these are like all photography related. But right now we won't touch this. We're going to leave it at auto and let's scroll down. So here we got the reference image and we're going to increase the strength to 100%. This is going to try to change perfectly the silhouette of the logo as much as it can. And then you also got here the visual intensity which is just the overall intensity of your photos existing visual characteristics I gotta leave it like that let's scroll down and here we got the references so here you can choose or you can also upload styles so for example I'm gonna go to bros gallery last time I went with these geometric shapes but I'm gonna uncheck it and let's go with another one you know what, I'm gonna try it out, this uh, forest viewed from the top I think that's what it looks like alright let's go up and we're going to click on the arrow, let's go back, scroll down. And next we got the effects, here you can check out the popular, you got like these keywords or you can go to all and everything is categorized, you got the movements here, themes, techniques and so on and so forth. I suggest not to choose too many of these, for example I'm going to choose cinematic, concepts, I'm going to go with simple. And as you can see, the more you choose, it is going to add the prompts right here down. And you also can type in here more prompts like Nike logo. And then you also got the color and tones. I got to go with vibrant colors, lighting. You got surreal light, studio light, low light, and a lot more. I'm going to choose none. And then you also got the camera angle. So check this out. So these are not working 100%, but sometimes they do the job. I'm going to go with none. And then, not but least, we're going to go and click on Generate. Wow, check it out, guys. Look at this. It actually works. The Nike logo is made out of wood, but it looks like the logo is just floating on a landscape. So let's go on. It is incorporating in different ways and generating different stuff. So this is how you work with Adobe Firefly. And that's it. Thanks for watching.